Okay, today what I'm going to show you is how to put programs in reservations. What we have today is two workstation boxes, which is workstation one, workstation two. What I'm going to show you is the difference between those and how to get this box to run a certain program and how to get this one to run a certain program, any program of your choice. So we have a couple programs in here. There's test two and test or test and test two. What I'm going to do right now is create a new program. So we hit new. And there I'm going to do it just as one. And then I'm going to also create another one as two. <clears throat> so here's one. So to go into it, you can either click open here and we go into it or you can double click it with your pointer. So I'm going to depress the dead man on the back, see it light up. Everything's good to go. So I'm going to hit my movement, move J. Uh, move VJ, which is a joint movement, 10% at PL0. What this will do is PL0 will kind of stop it at each position, so you can even change that. It goes all the way up to 9. 9 is your fastest, and it doesn't deviate that much from the actual path that the robot's going to take. So for this program, we're going to do 9. I'm going to do insert correct here. Now I'm going to plus out, come over this way. By the way, we're going to do a little weld on this, and we're going to st set that up in this workstation box. So let's just say, actually, we're going to do it. I'm going to come down here. That way we can push our product down. So this is going to be my second position. Movement, move J, 10%, insert correct. Got my second position. Now, if I want to scroll up to that one, to the first one, I can get a little preview of what it's going to look like. Scroll back down to that one, hit your green button again, it goes down. Okay. So now I'm going to turn my torch just a little bit. I'm going to lean my robot over. Now we'll turn it around it just a little bit. We'll come back, maybe stand it up a little bit more. There we go. And I'm just, I'm just getting the angle that I like with these three here. And what that does, these, these top three up here are like a CNC machine, so they go in whatever direction. X being forwards and backwards, Y side to side, Z up and down. A rotates around your tool's center point, and that is in world mode, and that's what we're in right now. This is individual joint mode if you want to do that, but this is always my program preference. If I'm going to be programming, that's what I want to be in. So I'm going to bring her down, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to lean it over just a little bit more, and that's going to be my point there. So I'm going to come down, movement, move J. Still going to do it at that, insert correct. Now, we can go back to our second movement. We can kind of see what it's going to look like there. And then back to this one. Okay. So now I'm going to turn my speed down to about 5%. Now I'm going to come down. Z negative. X reverse. And I might actually just come up just a little bit. And the great thing about this is now we'll let off of that. Now I can hit this wire plus and uh, I can actually see where my wire is going to strike. So that looks okay to me. Looks like it's going to be more on the lower. So on that, we can, there we go. Turn it down just a little bit and bring it up just a tad. That looks really good. Okay, so I'm gonna go movement, move J. And this time on this one, and it, it's not really necessary to do this, but this will make for the most accurate positioning if you just change this to a zero. And what that'll do, that'll actually stop at that. Now, if you're wanting to get more speed at it, just leave it at a nine. And uh, we'll just leave this at a nine anyways, just for that. But if you wanted just complete accuracy on where you're gonna stop at, that's gonna be at your PL0. So just for that fact, generally we have the arc start and everything command here in the logic, but on this one we haven't switched the software yet. So we're gonna go up here to the command button. We're going to go to welding, and then we're gonna go to arc start. And we have our arc start set up on arc start zero. Insert correct. Now if we wanna look at that arc start we go to technical, arc start, technical parameters, welding parameters. 
now you can see that's where our arc starts at 240 volt amps 18 volts and uh, that's pretty much what we're gonna do so now this over on this side this is your starting amps your starting volts and your starting seconds if this second is at a zero this will not work so more or less it's turned off so it's turned off at this point because there's no seconds so what we're gonna do is exit out of that so now we've got our arc start now we want to come down so this one's gonna be in the Y direction it's like that we can kick the speed up just a little bit all right and that's probably about a three inch well so I'm gonna turn my speed back down now I'm gonna come back into it looks like it moved just a hair that looks good to me so I'm gonna do movement move L and remember to have the dead man held down whenever you're doing this because that's what that's what records your positional value now so we know that we want to do this but actually what I want to do here I'm gonna leave this move since this is a straight line and I'll get into this just a little bit, but since this is going to be just a straight line weld with no torch angles, no torch turns, no nothing like that, I'm going to leave this at 100, and I'll show you why. So I'm going to just say insert correct. Now I'm going to go back up here to my arc start. I'm going to let off of that. Now I'm going to go to change instructions here. Now since my dead man is not depressed, and it won't matter on this because there's no positional value there, but this is how you change if you want to change any of this data in between here and not the position let off of the dead man so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna say mm a second I'm gonna change it to five and then I'm gonna say insert correct so what that'll do this five millimeters overrides this so what that does it allows you to look at your program faster than actually doing it if we put change this to five and we put it at hundred percent it's gonna take us forever to get across there so what this does, this overrides this right here. Now, this won't work if you're trying to turn corners or trying to do fast angles. You'll have to do it by inputting it in right here. But if you're just doing straight line welds, this works great and it gets you through the program a lot faster as far as testing out. Okay, so right now we say that we're good. So we're going to end the arc. Actually, you know what I want to do? I want to put a weave in there. So all I have to do is cursor up here, and I want to say that, uh, so when you're inserting any line, it goes above the one that you're on, the current line. So I'm going go to go to Command, Welding, Weave. So I'm just going to do Weave 0, ignore all of this stuff here, Insert Correct. Okay, so we've got Weave Sign 0. So if you want to look at that Weave Sign, we go to Technical, Arc Welding, Technical Parameters, swing arc parameters so on this one we're gonna do a instead of a Z shaped which is going across at a Z we're gonna do a circle so that's what this is so we're gonna do an arc shape one Hertz this is your Hertz and your radius really matter on this the amplitude doesn't apply on this it does on your regular Z weave but it doesn't on this one so our frequency is one Hertz and our radius is 3 mm okay so and you'll get to see what that kind of looks like on this weld so what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna exit out of this okay our weave sign is in there now we just got to put the arc in end in there so I'm gonna go to that command welding arc end arc in zero insert correct command welding weave end insert correct and now hold on dead man down um, I'm gonna switch to tool mode here and I'm gonna hit Z minus and you'll get to watch the robot as it comes out straight at our regular torch angle okay movement move J at that there we go now I'm gonna come up put it back into world mode and then come up okay we're clear there movement move J insert correct and then I'm gonna go up to the top I'm gonna go to this line that's our home position and then I'm gonna go back down and that goes that jumps that goes jumps a page down at a time 
So uh, movement, move J, insert correct, and that should be our program. Now if we want to test it out, put it 100%, and we can go each line at a time. real good thing about that is we'd skip over the arc start and all that. Now you see how fast that moved across there. So if you wanted to move slower, you would just turn this down, which you can do that. You can ch change this 100 mm a second on the VL to 50 if you wanted to move at half the speed. All right, so we like it. All right, so that is in. Now, if we're gonna put it in a start box, this is what we call reservations. And to put reservations in, what you got to do is very simple. You go down here, either the logic here, you can click it here, or you can go to command, logic, RET. All that's saying is to return to the top of the program. That's all we're going to do. So once this program's done, and this is when the key is over here in remote mode. And that's what we're going to that's what those boxes are set up for. So this is program number one, says it right there. So we want that to be on this workstation box number one. So when you hit this button, I want it to run that program. Now, I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna go to my second program. Now, I'm gonna do a real quick one here just to show you. We're gonna come over here, do this. Movement, J. Insert correct, go back to my top line, go back to it. So we're just gonna swing out one time, movement, move J, insert correct. And then all I'm gonna do is add my RET instruction in there. RET, insert correct. So this is on program two. Okay, so now we, we're gonna set that program two up on this box here, on this workstation two box, okay? So here's how we're going to do that. I'm going to go to technical, other technical, remote. Now, see how this is reservation? If you want to hit this, you can hit remote book or reservation. What we want is reservation on this, so I'm hitting that now. I hit next page. Now, station one and two. So that is our workstation box one and two. So our first one will be one, enter, and then I'm going to hit choose or cancel you'll see it turn green so program one is in there now we'll do number two and remember that this is all case sensitive so whatever your program is it has to be exactly what that is so it's best off to just use numbers for your programs that way there's no confusion or case um, as far as capital letters and stuff like that that you have to worry about two enter remote choose all right so now on this, I'm just going to take these all to zero, and now I'm going to go exit on that. Now, if we want to test our first or our second program out here, I'm in remote mode. All we'll have to do, see the servo enable, I'm going to hit that, and I'm going to hit this second box. Now, you've got to hold it down for about a second. And notice whenever I hit it one time, if you hit it really fast, it doesn't do it. See, you've got a falling edge, so it's got to be held down for 150 milliseconds. So that's how in-depth this system is. It knows that if you bump that button on accident or something, it's not gonna, it's not gonna go off. So we just exit out of that, turn it back into remote, start my servos up. I'm gonna hold that down again. There we go. Now. Okay, now we're gonna to go to the very first program, so we're actually gonna do some welding now. So, and that's, this is what it looks like. And when you do this too, you'll notice, I can hit this one. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this second one. We're gonna run it, and it'll show you what's running and what's in booking. So see, now my other program, so now that it's done, boom, it's gonna start welding immediately. Watch your eyes.
All right. So, that right there was a nice, smooth, circular weave. We had 223 amps is what we're showing on the machine and 18 volts and uh, that's what we're getting. And that's uh, passable to me any day and that is with an OTC power source right there. CV welded. And that looks great. So we're still in that. Now if we want to do it again, all we've got to do is move our workpiece down. We can do that or if you want to just go back into the teach mode, do that. Now you're out here. Now all you got to do on this is just hit that, hit exit. Now we can go back into our programs. We're right there again. So we can go back through this. If we want to change any of this down, we want to change speed, batten up the well, do whatever. We can do all that. But that is your lesson for today.